that off. This is the Johnny Mulhern Galmoy hurdle. It's a great two. Six runners over three miles, half a furlong. Already at the first of 14 flights. And it's the center. Longhouse Poet, the red cap. On the left, the Mayor My Design. Followed by Beacon Edge. And they're tracked by Somerville Boy. Early doors on the outside. The favorite, Tiopu. And they come towards flight number two. Mind design on the rail from the center, Longhouse Poet, then Beacon Edge, followed by Somerville Boy, Tiopu, early doors, shuffle back to be last of the sextet. Two circuits to go in the lead, but only just my design from Longhouse Poet, last year's Thayeste's winner, that is the scene of his famous win. Beacon Edge in third, and then Somerville Boy, Tiopu. And early doors, the final couple. Turning towards the back straight. We're three flights away. And there's three, four, and five. My design, Longhouse Poet. The Beacon Edge, the three spaced across the track. Followed by Somerville Boy, Tiupo. Early doors. Going towards the fourth. Center flight in the back straight. My design, Kieran Buckley, keeping towards the inside on the outer. Beacon Edge, Brian Cooper with in between horses, Longhouse Poet, JJ Slevin. Tracked by Somerville Boy, Rachel Blackmore, and then Tiopu. Maybe Russell with the back marker, Early Doors, and Simon Torrance. Flight number five coming up. Last of three in the back straight. And it's my design. Isolated away from the other five. Longhouse Poet followed by Somerville Boy. Beacon Edge, Tiopo. And lastly, Early Doors. Coming up to the end of their first mile. My design the leader by two lengths to Longhouse Poet. And third is Beacon Edge. Somerville Boy in fourth and Tiopo. And Early Doors. Order pretty much unchanged. Racing to flight number six before the straight, taking them to the completion of the circuit. By design, we joined by Longhouse Poet. The outside Beacon Edge, followed by Somerville Boy. Half colors and black sleeves with Tiopu. And finally, Early Doors. On they come to their point of departure. Longhouse Poet, the outside of my design, and Beacon Edge. Edging closer to Somerville Boy with the final couple, Tiopo and Early Doors. As they finish off their first circuit, coming back into the two flights in the straight, taking them inside halfway. In the John Mulhern Galmoy hurdle, Longhouse Poet, right of centre, on the left is my design. Beacon Edge tracking Longhouse Poet and then Somerville Boy, Tiopo and Early Doors. Onto the flight in front of the stands in the last one next time. Longhouse Poet and My Design wide apart. Followed by Beacon Edge, Somerville Boy, and then Tiopo and Early Doors. As they come to the flight, it'll be the last next time. Longhouse Poet up and over in front of My Design, Beacon Edge, and then Somerville Boy. Tracked by Tiopo, the first horse to beat Honeysuckle. When a short winner of the hat is grace at Ferry House. Early doors, six to six. Out they go in their final circuit. They've passed halfway. Six flights left to jump. Longhouse Poet, my design, followed by Beacon Edge, Summerville Boy, Tiopu, and early doors as the field tightens up. Ten furlongs to go. Six flights to jump. Longhouse Poet, in between my design and Beacon Edge, by Somerville Boy Tiopu, early doors, fiddle dad, heading inside the final nine furlongs, five nights to jump, no changes up front, Longhouse Poet still mixing it, with my design and Beacon Edge, a couple of lengths to Somerville Boy and Tiopu, early doors the back mark, slight mistake by my design, also a mistake by early doors, seven furlongs to go, Heading to the third and final flight in the back straight. This will be fourth for the finish. And 
five keeping to the outside red, headed by Longhouse Poe. On the inside is my design. They continue on opposite sides of the track, and then Somerville Boy Beacon Edge, taking closer order as Tiopo and Early Doors, remains last of the sextet, with three quarters of a mile to go, and three flights to jump. My design, Longhouse Poe at Beacon Edge. Closing steadily is the favorite Tiopo, and then Somerville Boy leaving behind Early Doors who's struggling, as they climb to the third last flight, five furlongs to go. Longhouse Poe at Beacon Edge on the outside, Split by Tiopo, who makes three in a line. Riding behind them is Somerville Boy. My design looks to have run a race. And then early doors with half a mile to go. And two flights left to jump. With the great two, John Mulher and Galmoy Hurdle. And it's Tiopo coming to join issue with Longhouse Poet nudged along. Somerville Boy with a move on the inside. Trying to keep with them and forward is Beacon Edge. Got on from the other couple. My design in early doors as they run the home turn. Two to jump, Tiapu, Davy Russell on the outside. Of Somerville Boy, now ridden along by Rachel Blackmore. And then Beacon Edge, Longhouse Poe has dropped out tamely and Tiapu jumps up. Mistake by Beacon Edge and it's Tiapu pressurizing them on the run of the final flight. Has kicked clear from Somerville Boy and on the inside trying to stay on again is my design but with one flight left to jump it's Tiopo and Davy Russell going further and further away and pains the last was picture perfect Somerville Boy over a remote second and then my design but it's Tiopo scaling new heights over three miles as he adds the John Mulhern Galmoy to the Hatton's grace wow that was quite impressive all roads lead to the stairs at Cheltenham second is Somerville Boy my design home and third. Cornelia, it's with us now after the wildly impressive win of Tiupo in the John Mulhern Galmoy hurdle. Gordon, I suppose he was a long odds on shot, but could he have done any more realistically? I don't think he could have really, Gary. He was very good. He settled great. He jumped well. Uh, the further he got, the better he was, I thought. Mm. Three miles for the first time today. Was there ever a doubt in your mind that that trip would seem the best effect? Uh, I always thought it really suited him. Uh, Davy obviously had no worries. He was in front end <laughs> early, but uh, look, he, he learned a lot about the horse today. You know, he just he kind of he's asleep halfway through the race, and the further he goes, the better he is. I'm sure he'll go straight to the stairs hurdle now. Do you think he'll take a bit of beating over there? Well, listen, he, hopefully, anyway, he's in good form. We get him there in one piece, he'll have a great chance. And does he need soft ground to be at I, his very best? I don't think he necessarily needs it. He's not a big, heavy framed horse. I'd say two miles just took him off his feet last year. Obviously, it's a worry, but we'll see what happens. Okay, and just before we let you go, nine in the three estates. Who is number one? <laughs> Number one is Ascari at 10 on the race cards. Uh, no, there's nine, nine horses in it, Gary. They've all great chances. Uh, pencil full, pencil full, of, full of lead could be dangerous with the cheek pieces. Say no more. Gordon, thanks a lot. Well done. Thanks, Cheers. thanks. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com. <laughs>